Hey guys, Dave Kelly here with Market Misbehavior. Uh, down in Naples, Florida this week visiting my in-laws. But I wanted to take a quick break and share with you a quick story. Um, at the bottom of every one of my blog posts, I always finish with the salutation RR number six and then my name. And I'm often asked, what does RR number six actually mean? So here's what it is. Um, I've heard the story in a number of different iterations in a number of different places, but the theme, the sort of the, the outcome of it is always the same. The first time I remember reading it was years ago in a self-help book that I, that I remember reading. And uh, the way they described it was as, as this. There were two CEOs in one of the CEOs' office just talking about life, management, their companies, and all those things. And uh, all of a sudden, one of the CEO's uh, lieutenants busts in the, uh, the office. Bob, we've got a huge problem in Chicago, issue with the shipper, you know, what are we going to do? And, and Bob says, well, Mark, relax, remember rule number six. And Mark goes, yep, you're right, and just turns around and walks away. A few moments later, the CEOs keep talking and a woman busts in the office. Bob, we have an issue. I'm not sure this customer's really upset. I don't know what blah, 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 and like lays out this huge problem. And Bob goes, Rebecca, remember rule number six. She goes, yep, you're right. Stops, turns around and walks back out the office. So after this happens a couple times, the second CEO is like, Bob, what is this amazing rule number six that allows everyone to just let go of everything? And he says, rule number six is don't take yourself so goddamn seriously. <laughs> The, first, the other CEO goes, okay, well, what are the other five rules? He goes, there aren't any. <laughs> so it's such a great story. It's a simple story, but such a great reminder that you don't have to take yourself, your life, your profession so seriously, right? There's nothing you really are going to gain from doing that besides adding more stress, adding more tension to your life. So how do you remember rule number six? Two things I'll suggest to you right now. Number one, I actually wrote RR number six on a piece of paper. I taped it to my computer monitor years ago during a very stressful period of my life. And every time I looked at my computer screen, I glanced down and reminded myself to remember rule number six. And when people would come in my office upset, I would never tell them that usually, but I would, I would look at that and remember, you know what, it's just not that important to get upset about something. It's not that big of a deal. The second thing is to really think about either through journaling or through some sort of self-discovery, when you have a difficult stretch, when you have a bad run trading, when you have investments that go against you, when you have uh, challenges of some sort in your personal, professional life, what's the worst that can happen? What's really so negative about it? And by writing that down, by forcing yourself to articulate to yourself and admit to yourself, what's really the downside of what's going on? A lot of times you'll find it's not that big, right? It, it, that you, you make it much worse in your mind than it actually would be in real life. So my hope for you today, my wish for you today is that you can remember rule number six. If this sort of thinking about your process and your mental state, thinking about how you think is of interest to you, I hope you'll check out some of my other videos on market misbehavior. Thanks so much.